Welcome to the first video ever with Mr. Oryx. I'm Mr. Oryx, I'm Andy, and today we're gonna bridge the gap between Namibia and Scandinavia, and also a little bit of Middle East, because today we're gonna make Karak Chai out in the bush. Karak chai or karak tea is a strong and sweet black tea from South Asia and India. It's made from a mix of spices referred to as kara and it has been made massively popular in the Middle East. And this is actually where I was introduced to the drink. Karak has two strong base notes and it's ginger and it's cardamom pods. I'm using whole cardamom pod pods because I think that's uh, what they use in the UAE when, when they make it. I'm obviously not Indian, so or Arabic for that matter. I'm Swedish, so I'm gonna do my take on the spicing. I also have cinnamon sticks. I have cloves that is ground up because here in Namibia, it's actually at the moment a little bit hard to find whole cloves. And I have my black tea. And these are the spices that go into making karak. The first thing we're gonna do is measure out the amount of water we'd need. And it's four cups, but I'm gonna do it my way, which is basically, I want two containers to enjoy. So I'm gonna fill two containers and a little bit extra amount of water into the pot right here. That would be one. That would be two. I'm gonna put this really cool stove on to start the boiling process. And there we have it. Lid goes on. And while the lid is on, I'm gonna prepare the ginger. I usually peel the outside layer away. And as soon as I'm done with the ginger, I'm just gonna put it in because it takes quite a long time for it to boil and absorb the tastes of the ginger. I wish everyone at home could just come here to Namibia and enjoy, especially now in winter. It's just, compared to a Swedish summer, it's a, like a, maybe it's like a spring day or so. I actually think that's an appropriate amount of ginger. And I'm gonna throw that into my pot. And now I'm going to start with the blend of spices or the, uh, well, maybe you can call it the karak spicing. I'm going to take the pestle and mortar and I'm going to basically just take two tablespoons of cardamom. I'm going to wing it because, um, just because I can. I'm going to say that that's about one, that's about two, and then I'm gonna take the cloves and I think about one tablespoon here is perfectly fine. I'm gonna say that's roughly one tablespoon. So we now have cardamom and cloves in here and I'm gonna add a stick of cinnamon into this, just like so. Now that I've got my cinnamon, I'm just gonna crush everything up into a nice blend. And once the ginger is boiling, I'm gonna add my spices into the mix and I'm gonna let it boil for three to five minutes and then I'm gonna put it through the sieve and after that, we're gonna add the condensed milk. And as you can see, and I wish you could smell, it smells absolutely divine. Mm. My water is about to boil and I'm about to put the spices in but right over my shoulder over there is a baboon. And that is Namibia for you. I think maybe he smelled the spices and wanted to see what it was all about. I'm gonna take my spices and I'm gonna pour them in. Like so. And the tea is actually boiling, so I'm gonna stir it a little bit while I keep a sneaky eye on the baboons behind me because I know what they're up to. I'm now gonna put the black tea in. So I'm gonna do about half of this 
which is going to equate to if you're doing bags which you're not but if you're doing bags it's going to be about five tea bags of black tea and that feels about halfway to me i'm going to let this boil for three to five minutes and then i'm going to sieve it and while i wait for this to boil for the additional three to five minutes i think it'd be interesting to know that karaking is actually a verb in the middle east much like fika is in sweden you basically go out and you have a karak with your friends and maybe a small biscuit to eat and it's very much a social time for people to come together the tea has now been boiling for about five minutes i'm going to turn the stove off and the tea calms down quite quickly out here and now comes the tricky bit the game plan here is to sieve it into this container chances of this working out in the bush no one knows and prepared as i am i'm going to use the pocket And that's about it. I now have just the pure tea with um, the spices in here. I'm gonna just do a quick cleanup and then I'm gonna pour the tea back into the pot so I can boil it with the condensed milk. The tea we just sieved are now gonna go back in the pot. And now it's gonna start boiling again as we add the condensed milk. And I think I have a really great tip here. Everyone loves their Karak different. Some like it really sweet, like I do, and maybe you don't. So I would just add a little bit at a time and taste it to see what it tastes like. And then when you found your right sweetness on your Karak, then that's it. You're gonna let it boil all the way up two times and then you serve it. As I'm waiting for this to boil, which is going to do at any second, I'm going to open my can of condensed milk. And it can be a little bit sticky and messy, so just be careful. So I just pour it in. The lid goes back on, and now it needs to boil all the way up two times. As I'm waiting for it to boil all the way up and get all its flavor, I'm just going to do a small stir. And your tea is then going to go from quite a dark color to um, quite light milky tea look. I'm just going to quickly do a small taste. Mmm, tastes very nice. I think I would prefer if there's a slight amount more of condensed milk in mine. Now it gets to boil. I now have my first boil. Just gonna do a quick stir. And what you ideally want is for it to rise up and you, it becomes quite clearly when it's boiling and you have condensed milk in because it gets foamy and it rises up. You want that to happen two times. And when that's happened, it's time for you to enjoy your Karak Chai. That was my second boil and the sun is actually just about to set and now we do the old outside trick and hopefully i get to pour without spilling too much two really nice glasses of karak with some extra to spare and actually it didn't spill too much there we have it, two amazing glasses of Karak, and obviously I have to try it. <sighs> Hot Karak chai in the Namibian winter. Nothing is better and nothing gets you in a better mood. If you like this video and you would like to see more, please leave a comment on whatever platform you're on and let me know what you would like to see me cook next. 
The exact recipe is found on my website, mrorix.com. And I really encourage you to actually make Karak yourself. As always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Are we good? Holy shit. It's a troop of baboons right there. And I'm gonna take quite a big piece of cinnamon and just try to break it, which I cannot do. So I'm gonna try to cut it. <laughs> which I cannot do either. Do you, wanna, do you want me to break it with this? The stone? No, put it in the pot. Oh, put it in the pot. Just put it in the pot. Oh. The stick it <laughs> where, where, where am I?